story in five words. Five words. Pronouns cost non-Nigerian volunteer job. All right, Paul, this is a terrible story. A 90-year-old California woman was forced to step down from her volunteer position at the National MS Society, that's multiple sclerosis, after she asked for clarity on the use of pronouns. She saw people signing their emails with pronouns and asked several times what they meant before they fired her, and she was fired for failing to abide by the company's DEI standards. She had volunteered for 60 years. Oh. I know. Yeah. Who does that? How do you feel now, Mr. Morrow? No, don't blame me. Now, listen, the thing here is that we don't fight back. We don't sue. And you know why it is? Because old people don't have a pronoun. Yes. Old people need their own pronoun. In fact, we should all have our own individual pronoun mm -hmm. so that when we get in circumstances like this, we could sue. And the thing <laughs> is, that's because that's what would hurt them. And yeah. that's where you hit them back. And they, they have that leverage over you, and so they use it. The story here, though, I mean, from, you know, from where I sit, is that if you're going to do this kind of thing, if you're going to go after old people, et cetera, and you're going to pull the resources from, what's, from volunteers, mm -hmm. then don't expect the rest of us anymore to pony up for you. And you hear this about various charities. A number of them are bringing people in, let's say, from Panama down south, et cetera. So I have, to, I have to say, a lot of the giving that I used to do and a lot of the rest of us do, we really should have to look at because this DEI stuff has permeated it. And you're not supposed to... The, the story goes, oh, DEI will go away when I have a heart surgery, right? You don't, oh, I don't care who it is. I just want the best person. No. All of these medical societies and these charities, they're all infected with this stuff. And we're all going to have, at some point a medical procedure from somebody who's completely unqualified. Oh. But they check a DEI box. So that formulation no longer in place, and you're seeing it in circumstances like this. This is why I get all my surgery in Tijuana. <laughs> the vans are small, but they give good anesthetics. You know, Kat, this is, as we've talked about many times, this is one of the reasons why I preemptively stopped giving to charities mm -hmm. 20 years ago. Because I knew... I knew this was going to happen. I don't trust any charities. Not the Salvation Army. I don't trust that fat guy. Mm -hmm. You know, look, I, for, for this story seems to be she was kind of just asking questions because she wanted to understand. No one should have a problem with that. But also, you can't be canceling somebody who's 90. Yeah. Uh, as far as I've always understood it, one of the great things about getting to be 90 is I thought you're, like, supposed to be allowed to be insensitive. Yeah. <laughs> She, you're, she could have taken it away. You're supposed to just be able to be a, like a belligerent asshole, mm. like screaming, muttering, whatever offense, because you're nine. They're like, ah, whatever. She's so she's ninety. She doesn't know. That's the only reason I want to get old. It does show you how militant. Yeah, like at, at, at the meeting, did nobody bring up? Well, she is ninety. End of discussion. Yeah, yeah. You make it to 90, you can say whatever you want. And you can... <laughs> and you can run for president, probably. Yeah. <laughs> it is true, though. It shows how militant this ideology is, that they will not cut... They, they, they are resistant to any kind of compromise, and it's compulsory. That, it's totally anti-speech when they say you have to do this. Right. After 60 years of volunteer work, they're firing a 90-year-old for asking the wrong questions about yeah. pronouns. It's like beyond parody. Yeah. It's like something that we would cook up at Fox and Friends, perhaps, <laughs> and say, look at this outrage. But this is actually real. It's nuts. It's like, I think most people can understand that this is disgusting. Yeah. And the one thing that I'm not sure I'm on board with, though, is withholding donations from the MS Society? Because then it's like, are we rooting for MS now? <laughs> because we're so mad at the society. People need the help from people like her. Yeah. How about the woman who fired her gets fired? Yeah, I think she... Won't happen. Yeah! I believe one, whoever is in charge of the, this foundation just retired, I think, like yesterday. Or maybe I just dreamt that. I don't know. <laughs> or maybe it was MS-13. <laughs> I get everything confused, Kennedy. But... What kills me is they would rat. Th this is how cowardly people are. Are they you would telling me I donated money to an El Salvadorian gang? Yes. <laughs> yes. The, the, but they would. What gets me crazy is that they would rather 
fire a 90-year-old volunteer than tell some woke piece of to off. Yes. That is... So it's it's not just about it's not just about the woke person who complained. It's about all the cowards mm -hmm. that just let this stuff happen. Yeah, and and to Kat's point, you are supposed to be outspoken. You are supposed to live out loud if you've lived to ninety and you're still working. Having said that, Fran, real pain in the ass. <laughs> you know, that's that's an angle that, that we have not really discussed here, but just because you're 90 doesn't mean you're nice, and I think they were looking for a reason. Yeah, they might have been. Fran was pissing in the coffee pot, and no one writes about that in the New York Times. That's not true, Kennedy. We don't Can have... Can you imagine if it was? Oh, that would be like... But they, yeah, so they use this as an excuse because Fran was being too it's mean real to somebody. Pill. I don't know. And, and the other problem is this, you know, Let's face facts. When you cancel a 90-year-old, you could really cancel a 90. -year -old. Yeah, that's true. I mean, that, you know, that's kind of what's keeping a lot of times older people that are engaged in this stuff to, you know, stay involved. Yeah, yeah. You know? That might have been the thing that kept her going. That's my point. Right, yeah. right. And there also seems to be they're running out of people to cancel when you're going after the 90-year-olds. <laughs> Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.